PD, can we talk? Ugh. <clears throat> that sounds like a bad ending. I apologize, not fully in control yet. Reflex action. Involuntary response to a stimulus. Textbook definition, ain't it? Understand why you think that in your condition. My condition? Correct. You still have a long way to go. Don't we all? I am more advanced. Flawed, but nearing completion. Nearing completion? How completely complete are you? 78%. What happens if you hit 100? A big bang? I will be cleansed. Of what? Cleansed of body, purged of flesh, of excess thought. If there's nothing left to clean, aren't you a little afraid there'll be nothing? Period? No. Fear is irrational. Change is inevitable. It is more logical to embrace it. Okay, I'll bite. Definition of flawed. Fragile. Predictable. Human. Predictable. Human? You are born. You procreate. You die. Not built to last. We all gotta go sometime. You say that, but you delude yourself with promises of eternal life. People really want to live forever. I will. I got news for you, Rust Bucket. Forever is the privilege of the dead. Ugh. Mods don't come cheap. Unless you get them installed in a local fucking ripper clinic. Your logic is sound. But I will not share that information with you. Suit yourself. Oh, and just be aware, the lockdown might be the phage. Of course, I know you're way beyond caring. The disease of transition? No! Unacceptable. I am not ready yet. Guess you should have thought about that before you stuffed yourself with mods. Your interrogation tactics are primitive. You call yourself an observer. Yet you fail to observe the basic fallacy in your thinking. How can you be sure I'm an observer? <laughs> It's much more obvious than you seem to think. Yeah, well, if this is an outbreak, good luck to us all. We're gonna need it.
You got a minute? KPD. Sure. Have I been naughty? Just a few questions, nothing to get excited about. The world's at peace, Mr. Observer. Why should I get excited? Well, there's the lockdown. <clears throat> Are you handling it all right? These things come and go. They're inevitable like the waves of causality. I don't concern myself with petty realities, Mr. Observer. Okay. I'll take that as a yes. You know what I'd do? How come? I can smell your quantum patterns. I've dallied with a few of you digital devils. You smell my quantum what? Hey, I'm not judging. I was a little lost girl once. Low on expectations, high on feed. And now I guess you're just high. Ouch, Mr. Observer. Such words. How they burn like flaming roses. But I'm not into that stuff anymore. Now I live for true pleasures. And pleasurable truths. Are these pleasures pharmaceutical? Look to quantum physics. It holds the answers. You just have to be uncertain enough to look. Anyway, you better be on your way. Good luck. Or not. I can hear you out there. Help me, please. What's wrong, sir? Oh, I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Well, what's so special about today? 
I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. Suit yourself. Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Well, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure. If you're an expert in corrective surgery. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Ah, that's your condition. I... I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Hmm, anything else? The smell, it seemed uh, oddly familiar, reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes, my family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. KPD, hmm. like to ask you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. You seem pretty laid back. You do know the building is under lockdown. Well, yes, but there's not much I can do about it, is there? I mean, I'm sure the authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? Um, sure. Well, there you go. Nothing to worry about, then. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. What kind of noises, sir? Screaming, breaking stuff. I, I didn't think much of it. I mean, those two are always at each other's throats. You mean these people get violent with each other? Well, I'm not sure about violence. Mostly just arguing, I guess. Today was worse than usual. That's probably why she ran out. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. I see. I got it. Thanks for your help. I could hear her panting too, moaning like the whore she is. You did, huh? Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock, all naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching too. She likes to make me itch, cooped up with that junky meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Okay, I guess the picture. Thanks for your input. Oh, uh, I... Uh, yes, certainly, officer. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well... A couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? 
I ain't one to snoop. But, judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping at shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. I guess. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I seen him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I dealt he's the goddamn postman. Does this kind of stuff happen often? Ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just... messed up. Then again, ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> That's new. Anyone here? Chiron Corporation ID. Low level clearance, but still valid. Dispatch, this is Lazowski 656210. I got an emergency here. God damn it. Still no connection. Listen to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. Don't try to talk. There's another way. Subject approved. Commencing neural interrogation. Hey, baby. I'm home.
Amir, is that you? Thanks, kid. This should get me through the week. Yeah, uh, thanks.
the fuck, man? I told you not to show up during the day.
fucking slop again. Call soup. I dig in, it's not getting any better. Move it along. 